Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my experience with Armour Thyroid. A while back ago, I made the decision to switch over to a new medication, and today I'm just going to talk about my experience, why I decided to choose Armour Thyroid, and basically my symptoms and everything overall. So, a little bit of backstory. So, 2011, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. And I honestly didn't really know any better. I just kind of took the medications that the doctors gave me and went on my way and that was it. At that time, I didn't really have as severe of symptoms as I did later on. So I didn't really think anything of it and I just took the levothyroxine and the Synthroid that they gave me. I would always bounce around those two medications specifically and just went on my way. And I did that for about honestly seven years. It was fine until it wasn't fine. You know, I've always struggled with my weight, but then it became a situation where I just couldn't lose weight at all. And I kept gaining and gaining and, you know, my exhaustion was through the roof. I was depressed all the time. I just was so tired of feeling sick and tired. And I finally had it. And I was just like, I'm ready to figure this out. I went to an endocrinologist and I just felt like they weren't supportive. They didn't educate me and I knew it was time for me to really educate myself and really start learning to help myself. So being my own advocate. And that's kind of where I'm at now in my journey. I will say it's really overwhelming because you know, you're learning everything. You're learning everything as you go. And there's so much information out there. But honestly, if you're not gonna fight for yourself, who do you expect to fight for you? So just decided I'm gonna go off all my medications and just completely let my body heal and detox. And that's what I did. I was off medications for about eight months and finally my symptoms started occurring again where I was getting the exhaustion. I was like, okay, I know it's time to start regulating my thyroid again. At that point, I had to make a decision of what medication I wanted to use. And again, it's it's just so overwhelming because there's medications that are FDA approved and not FDA approved, or they're not covered by your insurance, or it's not even accessible in your country, or you know, no doctor wants to prescribe it, like so many things. And so, I, I just honestly was overwhelmed, but the two that always stuck out to me the most were Nature Thyroid and Armour Thyroid. Now, the reason why I chose Armour Thyroid over Nature Thyroid, honestly, it, it's so simple. I just saw more people have more success with Armour Thyroid. I'm a big advocate of testimonials, so if I see that something works for so many people, I am much more willing to try it. But also, I really love that it was a natural medication. So the way that it's made, it's compounded and basically created from the thyroid pig glands from pigs. So if you're a vegan, that might not be an option for you. But for me, it was, it just was more natural and I, I knew that was kind of the route that I wanted to take. Levothyroxine and Synthroid, they're made of inflammatory ingredients. They include gluten, some fillers can include soy, some can include starch. Sucrose is another one, which is basically sugar. And those are all things that cause inflammation in your body. And if you already have an autoimmune disease, your body already has inflammation in it. So why are you ingesting a medication with more ingredients that cause more inflammation in your body? Like it just doesn't make sense to me. So I knew that I wanted something more natural. You know, I was on this holistic path of healing myself. I was cleaning up all my ingredients in my food, in my home. And it's like, why wouldn't I clean up the ingredients of my medication? So just another disclaimer, Armour Thyroid is not FDA approved, which means that some insurances, depending on where you are, and I know that some people that I've talked to in the UK um, and other countries, it's like not even an option for them there. So luckily for me here in California, I do have access to it. It is more expensive. I think I pay like $26 a month for my medication versus when I was getting levothyroxine or Synthroid, it was like a dollar or $2. So obviously more expensive and sometimes quality is just more expensive and 
for me, that's okay. I take it every single morning on an empty stomach with a big old glass of water, like literally like 32 ounces glass of water. I always have water near me. And that's it, I just take it every morning, preferably at the same time. My experience has been great so far. I have had some symptoms, headaches, which I was getting cluster migraines for a while, probably about two, three months. They were really bad and ongoing but then they just like stopped one day and then I haven't had them since. Another symptom that you might have to look out for is hair loss, which I was already kind of struggling with that with Synthroid and Levothyroxine. And honestly, I feel like my hair is actually decreased as far as losing hair. Every time I shower, I have less and less that, you know, you're like pulling out and putting on the wall. Before it used to be like gobs of hair and it was honestly super traumatizing. Another symptom that I personally experience is like my heart. It just feels like it pounds really hard, but not like on my chest, I can hear it in my ear. But I also suffer from tendonitis, so it's one of those things of like, I already kind of have shitty hearing in this ear, and I just don't know if that's really correlated to me being on Armour Thyroid. I've had honestly great success. My TPO antibodies have decreased every single time I take a blood test. And at the end of this month, I'll have my third blood test. So that means I've been on this medication for nine months consecutively. And we'll see what happens. I'm really anxious. They did increase my medication from like 30 micrograms to 60 micrograms over that course of time, just cause my TSH increased a little bit. But yeah, I mean, honestly, overall, I feel great. I feel energized. I feel, I don't feel depressed anymore. I honestly was depressed all the time, just sad about everything, just unmotivated. I felt like such a failure and, and you, I would get this spurt of motivation and then the next day I'd be like, why did I do that? You know, it, it, was, it was honestly so debilitating because every single day you just question the decisions that you made. And there were so many times I just kind of really asked myself, why am I here? But I don't feel that way anymore. I honestly feel like inspired and motivated and disciplined. And I love that. I've been able to lose weight a lot easier. I definitely think there's more work to do and I'm still always, you know, figuring it out day by day. But at the end of the day, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And you're just gonna have to trial and error all the time to figure out wh what works best for you. You know, I hope you guys find this video useful or educational. If you ever need help or questions, like I'm more than happy to answer as many questions as you have to the best of my ability in no way, shape or form. Am I a doctor or like a thyroid specialist? But I've experienced it and I felt all of this. So I understand what you're going through. So thank you guys so much for watching. Honestly, truly, I really appreciate it. And I just wish you nothing but the best of health.